Hello, dear sweet people. Today I'm inoculating this oak bench with the reishi mushroom spawn. Ganoderma lucidum. So these are all oak stumps. I drilled holes into it. On the side, on the top, and on the other side. I filled these holes already, and then I stuffed them with sawdust after putting the plug in. I used a 3 8 inch drill bit, and I've been pushing them in with a chopstick just to get them in. I cleaned the bit, drill bit with the isopropyl alcohol first, just for some cleanliness. backfill this soon with a whole bunch of gray soil that we got. Maybe a little bit late in the year. It's the middle of October. I don't know what day it is. The 11th? No, it's later than that. But there's still warm days. We may get a rain today. Some you predicted. So I figured these stumps would get nice and soaked. To soak them well and probably cover this up too from light to keep some moisture in. And maybe to insulate through the winter because it freezes kind of a lot here. I'm trying to evade the freeze with some microclimate berm making. This will grow soon. Mushroom bench. Okay, just finishing up with this next block. Got holes on that side. Got holes riddled through the top. And more holes over here. It's pretty dense this time just because these dowels that I have have been sitting and waiting to get into some new food for a while. And they're starting to just get a little old. So they want to go in. I'm going to give them a new home. So I'm gonna go thicken these edge pieces. This is the Ganoderma lucidum and I'm waiting for some Ganoderma oregonese, the Oregon native reishi. Put that in over on that half. See how they combine. Here's a bunch of fun holes. in there. The second day of reishi inoculation begins October 15th, 2014. This is my second day inoculating this oak bench bed massage parlor with the reishi mushroom dowels. I'm about to open a whole new package of the reishi. She hasn't been opened yet. It's a thousand dowels from Paul Stamets. Uh, she's been in the bag for maybe eight months. It's October, and I got her in maybe early, early springtime. I inoculated a few logs, but I was being careful to make sure they were very clean, and uh, so I limited my log use. But now we have all of this oak and our friends have just kind of told us to try. That's what the job of the mushrooms is, 
to break down this kind of wood and this is not being attacked or occupied by other fungus blatantly yet. So I was only going to do one side of Reishi Lucidum and one side of Reishi Oregonese, but I have all these Lucidum Dalvin. They've already started to fruit. They just started to fruit out of the bag. So I'm gonna disturb the bag a little bit to spur some of the fruit and leave enough so that it can still fruit out of the bag, I think. Uh, but then I'll be able to get this second half of this bench filled up. Hopefully she grows. It just rained, so that's awesome. Everything is a bit soaked. And I watered this bench already and I'm gonna do it again. And we'll cover it up with insulative warmth and a tarp to block out light for the inoculation phase, but I'll show you that as it goes. Because I've had these reishi dowels for so long and they're craving new food and this bench just seems too cool and if reishis were spurting out of it, it would just be too awesome, so it needs to happen. Uh, I'm, I started a new doweling method. Instead of just getting it in enough for one dowel, I'm just drilling a hole deep enough to fit three dowels in. And I just stack them in there behind each other. The oak is hard, sometimes it takes a while, but less strain is better. There's in all the way. And three dowels can fit into that space clean chopstick and freshly washed hands. Stick in the first cell. Unlock a second. Strong mycelium. Stick that one in. Third one fits right in there. And I've been gathering some sawdust and just covering the hole with that. Yeah, that's my process today. Can I fill them all in? Hi, the sun came out. I'm just getting this whole corner activated now. I got this whole wall filled in. Now this side you saw earlier and this side. Build up. I'm going to dig into this wall right there and then get probably this whole block on all three sides. That should be some solid duration inoculation. Update I've been shoving four dowels into each of these holes and get four out of my drill bit. And there's these cracks in the wood, some deep gaps, so I've been just pushing a whole bunch of extra dowels in there and poking them in to the deepest spot that they go. They're starting to fill up all the way now, but it's still going in. Four deep. Hello, the third day of the race inoculation. Bench bed. And so right now, I've collected a lot of sawdust from our wood pile over there, delivered to us from Davy Tree Service, kindly. There's a lot of different kinds of wood in there, and so I just went through and found a lot of the oak, and I'm shoving it into the gaps here and throwing in the dowels, the spawn, every once in a while. Good clusters sometimes, hunks of five or six of them. Sometimes others just three or two singles to make lines connecting them around. So they're just tapped in there. And then I'm throwing in 
the chips falling and kind of poking them in to get some density down there. And then I'll water everything else. I also added some of this reishi I was cultivating. This was an experiment, I had two bags full. I pasteurized the straw in a pressure cooker and found out later that it may not be the best technique. I can explain that later. It just cleans things too well. Mushrooms like to have bacterial influence. They have friends. But here's some of that. You can see I had the oak pieces in there and that really took on the spawn. The straw did not take on the reishi spawn very well. Okay, I think I really finished this one up now. I collected some saw, no, not sawdust, just wood chips that we had stashed. We filled, backfilled this whole region to give the mycelium a place to crawl through. I stuck some into this one also, back side there. So there should be a good set of veins for the mycelium to run through and then they'll slowly start digging into this whole bed. And we could have fruiting for a really long time. There's just so much oak mass there and they can spread out. We'll see where it goes. Quite an experiment. Reishi bed. Hallelujah. And the last final phase is just to get it this mound covered with a good tarp. This is like multi-layered. It's black, so it should add a lot of extra warmth and insulation into the berm and hold all the moisture in. I just watered it really well, so it should be nice and soaked. I'll uncover it a few times and water it um, in the next six weeks, and it should be okay after six weeks. I'll uncover it, and I mean, even sooner than that, we're gonna cover a lot of it with soil or backfill it, so that'll be more insulation and more moisture. But this is just to get it really started, the initial inoculation phase blocking out light and holding in water. Reishi!